Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you all could join me. Uh, at this point, we have been addressing a guiding question for the entire week. We've been talking about whether or not athletes, professional athletes, should be considered role models specifically for young people such as yourselves and young ladies like myself because I'm a young lady. We've done a lot of reading this week um, and, and talked about a lot of different topics and those range from domestic violence in the NFL um, with Ray Rice and Adrian Peterson um, we've talked about uh, public behavior and displays of anger and professionalism in the NFL, um, and those go with um, the reading that we did with Richard Sherman. We've talked about the personal issues um, of uh, professional athletes like Tiger Woods and whether or not those should in some way interfere with um, the professional life of Tiger Woods as well. We also talked about individuals who have built careers on a specific reputation um, and then it comes to light later on that that reputation has been built on an untruth uh, in the case of Lance Armstrong. And finally we've looked at <clears throat> the treatment, the differing treatment of um, professional athletes uh, as far as gender is concerned. And so that can be compared to um, women's versus men's soccer, uh, and then also women's versus men's basketball in the NBA and the WNBA. So we've done a lot of reading this week. We've done a lot um, around how we should view professional athletes. And in fact, I think from, for the work that I've done, I've examined how I do view professional athletes. So we're going to take that work now and we're going to move it a step further. And I'm really excited about this next step and I think you should be too. Based on all of that reading, your next job is going to be to develop a stance or an opinion on whether or not, or excuse me, on one aspect uh, of the professional sporting industry. And this could be any, you know, particular type of sport. So you could focus on basketball, you could focus on soccer, you could focus on football, on golf, whatever it is that you want to focus on. Um, or you can focus on the entire sporting industry as a whole. Um, and so the statement that you are going to create, that stance that you're going to focus on, it's going to be a should statement. You're making a statement um, that says what should happen based on what you've read and what you as an individual believe. Okay, So an example, <clears throat> my should statement would say um, that WNBA players and NBA players should be able to play the same length of time in a year for the same pay or for comparable pay. Um, we know based on the reading that we did this week that the amount of money that WNBA players get paid, so women, female basketball players, versus the amount that male basketball players that are both professional athletes in a professional league, that, they're, that their pay is very, 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 very different. Um, and so what we want to do, what I would want to do for my example, um, would be to say, to, to put out there into the world that their pay should be comparable and also the amount of time that they play. Because we know that um, most of the time female basketball players play all year and that's not always the case for um, male basketball players. So that the time that they play should also be comparable. So that's my should statement you are going to create your own should statement. Um, and that can be based on any number of things. So you might also be focused on, um, you know, the pay of professional athletes. You might not be. There are a lot of other things to look at. Um, you could look at <clears throat> um, stances related to athletes and domestic abuse. You could look at stances related to the way that the press publicizes um, athletes' uh, home situations um, and the regulations on whether or not that should affect their professional work. Um, you can look at the community involvement of athletes um, and, and professional teams. <clears throat> there are any number of things that you um, could consider here based on all the reading that we've done for this week. So uh, I recognize that while I was able to come up with my 
should statement very easily because you know I feel strongly about things like that. Um, some of you might need some help, and that's okay. <clears throat> I've made a little document, a little uh, resource for you that's gonna help you to develop your should statement if you are a little bit on kind of confused or uh, on the fence about what you want to choose. <clears throat> now, what I need you to do is go to Edmodo. Once you log into Edmodo, you're going to go to our Unit 4 folder in Library Items. You know exactly how to access this. Now, I've made a new folder within the Unit 4 folder that you're going to access. That folder is going to be titled the same thing as our, um, our question for the week. So it will be called, Should Athletes Be Considered Role Models? name of the folder. <clears throat> so when you go into that folder, should athletes be considered role models, there will be a document within our new folder, should athletes be considered heroes, and that document will be titled Develop Your Own Stance. And And so that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to um, develop our should statement, which is a stance on a particular issue related to professional uh, sports. So in that develop your own stance document, <clears throat> there aren't going to be a list of should statements. I don't want you to get your hopes up and think I'm giving you the answers and, oh, well, let me just copy one down. No. What I will do, though, for you, what I have done is made sure that I've compiled, put together a list of different topics that we have covered, different ideas that we might get from those topics um, for the reading this week. And I think based on those different topics and what you read and were like, oh man, that's crazy or that's not right or whatever those moments were for you, that's going to be where you develop your should statement. This group of people or this individual or this sports organization should make this happen. That's, that's all I need from you. Whatever that is, you're going to write that down for me. That's the first step. We have two steps. Here's the second one. We're going to move now um, to who should hear your should statement. What I mean by that is you could tell me your should statement. And if it's about the NFL, what am I going to do about it? I don't work for the NFL. I have no affiliation with the NFL other than, as you know, I'm a diehard Cowboys fan because it's America's team. No judgment. So if you want to talk to somebody, let's say, from the NFL or um, the Professional Golfers Association or the um, NBA, you need to find out who specifically would be the appropriate person to hear your should statement. The way to find out who is the appropriate person is to think about who has the power to affect the change you want to happen. If you want to um, have NBA players, for an example, uh, if, they, if you believe that they should come into communities and each player on the team should be a part of at least one community um, organization effort or community service effort, then you want to find the individual for a specific NBA team or the NBA as a whole that is in charge of their philanthropy or that is in charge of their community service or their community outreach. Those sorts of individuals can be found um, a lot of times on their websites. You can look that information up, get the contact information or at the very least the name of that person um, so that you know how to contact them or who to get in touch with. Okay. Again, I recognize that this might be something that is, is difficult or challenging for you all to just know where to go immediately. So um, that's cool. Don't worry about it. I, I've got your back. In that same folder, so we went to Edmodo, then we went to our library items, and in our library items we have our Unit 4 folder, and then in that Unit 4 folder we have a new folder called Should Athletes Be Considered Heroes, right? We have that folder. So you're going to go into that folder again, and there's another document that is titled, Who Should Hear Me? Question mark. Who, who should hear me? And that 
gives you a list of links that you might want to try um, for individuals that have specific roles within professional organizations. So use that uh, document as a guide to kind of get you started. You might have to do some additional research. We've done this before where you have to click around, where you have to do your own searches um, and eventually find out your own information. We're used to this. This is nothing new. Um, but it, it, will, it might take you, you know, a little while to find the correct person where you're like, yes, that's the individual that I need to talk to. They're the one that needs to hear my problem because they can make the change that I need them to make. Okay, so that's my second step. Once you get through that step, pretty much you're finished. The only thing that I'll need you to do after that is I'll need you to submit what you find and what you think your should statement to me. Your assignment is going to be placed on Edmodo. I'll send you a message. You'll know what the assignment is. And um, on that assignment, you'll have 48 hours to submit your two things. That is first, your should statement, whatever you think this organization or group of people or person should do. And then you also are going to submit to me the individual, the name of the individual or the name of the organization that has the ability to affect the change that you want to see happen based on your should statement. You're going to do those two things. You'll have, again, 48 hours to submit this information. Now, for those of us that are, oh, well, I don't have the internet at home. Da, da, da. Yep. Well, even if you don't, which many of you do, but even if you don't, I want you to think about your strategies here. So you'll be in school for the majority of the day, and you do have time during the day to go to the library and check the internet, or the computer lab to check the internet, or in other classes, um, you're given free time to use your iPads. So during those times is going to be when you want to conduct your research. You have internet on your phone. You have internet at the library outside of school. So these are all things that you can do. And then the majority of you have the internet at home. It's where you're watching my beautiful face now. So when you're thinking about these things, what am I going to do and how am I going to get it done? You have 48 hours to find an internet source um, to conduct your to create your uh, cause, excuse me, your should statement, and then from there to research who the appropriate individual or group of individuals would be to listen to your should statement. So plenty of time to get everything done and to submit everything on Edmodo one time. Um, you know, if you have issues with Edmodo, you can email me. It's not an issue or not a problem. Um, but either way, you want to make sure that you get this done within the 48 hours. I believe this could be something really powerful for you all. This is going to be the first step in a, a really cool journey that we're going to begin here in the next few weeks. Um, I'm excited to talk to you more about it when I see you. But in the meantime, you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of this opportunity to um, develop a stance and then research who has the power to affect the change that you seek. It's going to be great. And I know that you guys are going to do a wonderful job. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the should statements that you come up with. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Take care.